Welcome back to episode 6 of Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 with me, your host Charlotte from CNC Gaming Factory. And in the last episode, we had finally gotten a claim for the, count of, the county of Rouergue, Rouergue, something like that. I'm going to have to look that up. And we have just declared war and we are taking what is rightfully ours. Kind of, sort of. So let's raise up all our troops. Or as um, Shenra likes to call them, the derps. And let's move them over here and then stack them up. Um. Okay, King Philippe's ambitions has helped him to get where he wanted to go. I want that too. Of course I am. I want that too. That's what we're doing. We're working on it. One day we will have what is rightfully ours, which is the kingdom of... Well, see the thing is I kept saying the king of France. Um... And whilst that is somewhat correct, we are actually in the in the du jour kingdom of Aquitaine. So, so if I want to go become the king of France, then I would have to switch sides. I would have to get up there. You know, let's let's see. So this down here is Aquitaine, which is where I'm located. Up here is, is France, so, and then Brittany, of course, over here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go for the Empire of Francia, and then after that, it's just easy easy source. Um, anyway, my daughter Juliana needs attention. She wants to become um, loving and trusting and of course we want that for her. Okay, so he's coming down here. Uh, Crusade for Aragon. His Holiness Pope Innocent II has been swayed by the cries of help from the Christian population in the Kingdom of Aragon. He urges all able-bodied men to, of Europe to take up arms against the evil Emir Abdullah of Aramid em Emret. Uh, I don't think we are going to go on that one. We are not going to let her be become content. We want her to be ambitious. Because she's going to be killing a lot of people. Uh, we need a new marshal. That was a quick quick one. Let's have a look. Yep, you'll do. You're a mayor as well, so that that's a good thing. You can go here and train troops. And actually I'm gonna send my troops back. We're gonna have to try and get this guy. Uh oh! <laughs> wow! It's going really, really fast now all of a sudden. Alright. Well, we have one left, I guess. We can't move him yet. Let's go in. Um, should she get honest? No. No, we don't want the honest. We're gonna actually want to... Is she already deceitful? She is not, but we want her to be deceitful. Oh, she didn't get it. That's a shame. Alright. So we're attacking into the mountains. Not the best placement, but we'll do it, do it anyway. And they're going to Carcassonne. So let's go over there and beat them up some more. Alright, awesome. Let's beat them up some more. We're doing quite well actually. I can actually slow the, down the speed one one notch. So we're already at 64% war score and we haven't even touched his uh, um, his troops. Oh wait, hold on. We haven't even touched his uh, county. Now I see our liege has joined the war. Can I offer to join? I can. Uh, Alright, so that lifted our leisure's excommunication. I might actually join that war just so I can get... Let's see, Aragon, where are you? It's, it's somewhere in here. Um, let's have a quick look here. The du jour... Okay, so it's down here, and, and this could get very ugly because we're right there. <laughs> but I guess we're already in the fight anyway. So, yeah, we'll, we'll join up. Oh, we don't have enough uh, troops. Can I stand these guys down, or do I have to move them back home? Alright, so. Let's disband the troops for a little bit, and then uh, re-raise. Arrange marriage. Sure, we'll do it. Awesome. 
And now we can call it in allies. Great. Alright, let's try raising our local levies. Military. Okay, we have everything raised. And then let's march up there. Let's see how that goes. We're already at 70% war score. Um, Matthias, Burnett, Anton, at, at non, at on. All right. We still don't have enough. How much do we need? Oh, we are too short. You are kidding me. Ah, uh, let's merge these two and chase down that 44 and then take it from there. That's just silly. Okay, apparently our, <laughs> our king uh, he sent me off to um, to <laughs> on the crusades. I got this. I got the title crusader. That's awesome. I don't have to go into that war then. That works for me. He's got three hundred and forty-six now. Praise the Lord! Now who got the land? The Kingdom of England. Wow. Because they had, I think they had the highest participation. I have to say, I'm never, I've never done a lot of those crusades, but I remember doing them one time and I actually got a lot of land out of it. So they're really, really good. Uh, military. So we have, yeah, we're, we're good. Let's raise up everything again. It's one of the annoying things of dealing with such small armies is it's like, do or die if you're two men short. There we go. 1158. That should be enough, right? 31st of August, 5th of September. Yes, we have enough now. 802, but we're going to go down and follow him. 21st of September. 16th of October. Sixth of November. Yes, we're going to catch him. Again, not an ideal placement, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. So we're still over 800 and was it 2 or 20? So my daughter left. Oh, well, she suits that little hairpiece hair thingy. Awesome, 82%. Now let's go take over. We are missing somebody over here. Um, oh, all right, that's fine. So where am I at now? Am I... I'm leading troops in limousine. I'm over here. There I am. Going past my house saying hi. Okay, so we're going to have to slow siege this. So this might take a little while. Let's have a look and see what's going on. So I guess... Um, they didn't reform... Uh, hold on. Um, my daughter Patricia lying and stealing. Sure. Well, we'll make her really, really <laughs> dishonest. Does your kingdom. So Aragon is not formed. But. Hey. But, so Great Britain got some of it. And, or oh, England, I should say. And Navarra got some, um, is taking over some of it. Hey, good for me because that means that I'm not right next to Muslims who are going to take over my country or my la land, which I have fought so hard for. The Hunger Bites. And we are nearly there. We are nearly there. And our liege, does he, he still hasn't given out the county or the duchy of Toulouse, so... Alright, Pope Innocent loves us. That's such a terrible name. Alright, so we have 100% war score. Awesome. Enforce demands. Yay, I won. Give it to me. Alright, so which other one? Oh, we have to move this. We do have a claim on here. What do I have a claim on? Okay, so let's move him, him down there. And let's... Declare war there in a moment. He doesn't like me. He's furious because I uh, pressed my claims against him. 
The Holy Roman Empire is uh, doing something. Why is the Holy Roman Empire here? And why are they hostile to me? My liege, what are you doing? Um. Okay. Give give Orden. Yes. Oh, so I I right now I don't want to uh, attack here. Can I join in that war? Because they're actually fighting over this. This is my land, people. Get off. Oh, here comes the doom stack. So I can't actually attack there yet. That 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 blows. There you go. Um, I told him he is not ready. He do He's not even married yet, is he? Oh, he is married. She's not popping out any kids. Um, we do not want it to be arbitrary. Strapping her. There you go. We're such good parents. Oh gosh, here comes the Holy Roman Empire with its doom stack. This could be fun. Most definitely. Well, they're doing a major river crossing. That was a bad idea, but even so, they lo they won. Here's another doom stack. Where is... Where are the troops of my liege? So my wife is pregnant at the ripe young age of um, 43. So we get more kids. Yay! So, yeah. Oh, I forgot to uh, reassign her. She's got After all that, I've been trying to get, <laughs> get them to get high intrigue. She has zero intrigue. That's great. That's awesome. Um... Uh, he wants to appoint me Chancellor? Sure, I'll do it. Awesome. So... Let's see if we can find somebody to educate her with. I know she's not quite 15 yet, but... So I don't forget it again. Let's see who has the highest... He's an intricate web weaver. Elusive shadow. And he doesn't have bad stats, so let's send her over there to get educated. Educated. Where am I at? Where? Oh... That looks like it's going to go out of our... Well, that, that's a bummer. Um, sure, I'll frame my services. Excellent. So we are educating... Actually, the future... My future daughter-in-law. There you go. Works for me. Gives us a good influence over her. Make sure she has very, very low intrigue. Alright, so whilst we wait for my Chancellor to fabricate the RC, it went over to the Holy Roman Empire. Hmm. Not happy. So now we're going to have to basically watch him... Uh, watch him and see if he ever has his troops you know, somewhere totally different and maybe we can swipe it from him. But that's going to be tricky when we're a lowly uh, count. So yeah, we're going to call this an episode, and uh, hopefully in the next episode my Chancellor will fabricate a claim on Melguel, something like that, um, and we can continue our expansion of the glorious Duchy of Toulouse. So thank you so much for watching, and um, if you enjoyed this episode, please do not hesitate to hit the subscribe button, uh, and I will see you later. Bye bye!